From Japan, I play the forte piano. I'm in a castle, Lunaslot, in the Netherlands. Forte piano is a term refers to all kinds of historical pianos which existed before the types of modern pianos which we are familiar with now. One of the unique examples we have here is a square piano by John Broadwood made in 1829 from London. Broadwood is one of the oldest piano companies in England. Many composers played on a Broadwood piano, for example, Haydn, Beethoven, John Field, Jan Ladislav Dussek, Chopin, and Mendelssohn as well. Piano became incredibly popular in the early 19th century. This type of square piano became a standard item in the middle class households. You could see here beautiful fretwork with a yellow thin delicate silk. Silk waving mill existed in England since around 17th centuries and after 1810 yellow color was discovered. It was popular for rich people then. Next to yellow colors, red and old pink were also favored. You could see this piano has six octaves range from F till F. Let's take a look inside of the piano. You could see these iron strings arranged at angle to use the space sufficiently. And the pins over there along the long side of the rectangular shape of the piano. At the corner, you could see another uh, fretwork. Uh, it's a kind of ventilator and helps uh, acoustics. And you see tiny little hammers. The lowest one you could maybe compare with my little finger. It's almost as wide as my little finger. And let's look at the top one. It's this uh, here. Look, this is about half as wide as my little finger. You could also see here, for example, screw at each key that helps to regulate the piano to make this height of the keyboard, for example, hammers, and all these small pieces, that's a damper, and if I your finger this piece of damper goes back automatically it stops the sound but I could use it by damper pedal so if I push the damper and play the notes then it stays open so all the damper pieces stays open so if I stop this pedal it stops the sound again um, I played the hunting song by Mendelssohn from a collection of songs without words. This piece was composed in 1832. Mendelssohn loved England. He was in England in 1829, so he might have been very close to this piano at that time. There was a one program to play this piece because the lowest E here you could see on the music does not exist on this piano so instead of an octave I play only a higher E and this range of piano from F till F was quite standard range six octave especially in Vienna on the grand pianos but grand piano for Broadwood in that time, around 1800, uh, six octaves from C to C was quite standard. So I was wondering home if this piano has till C or till F 
If this piano had only until C, then I would miss the last essential note. Then I would not have chosen this music because I don't want to miss this C sharp. But square piano around that time from F to F in England was quite standard range as well. Thank you for watching to this video.